Captain Behan, what was your most outstanding experience on this historic flight? I suppose it was when the clouds opened up over the target at Nakasaki. The target was there pretty as a picture. I made the run, let the bomb go. That was my greatest thrill. Did you see that city where the first atomic bomb was dropped? Yes, Fred. We flew over Hiroshima for about half an hour. It was a shambles, huh? A shambles? It looked like Ebbets Field after a doubleheader with the Giants. <laughs> group had been told to select some targets in Japan that had not been bombed. In other words, they wanted virgin targets. And the reason behind it, even though not given to the group at that time, the reason behind it was that they wanted to be able to make bomb blast studies or bomb damage studies on virgin targets once the bombs were used. They were definitely military targets. There was no question about that. And they offered such a, uh, well, you could almost say a, a, a classroom experiment as far as being able to determine later the bomb damage. I have uh, been subjected many times to uh, criticism. Uh, I have been accused of being uh, uh, insane, being a drunkard, uh, being everything that uh, you can imagine a derelict to be uh, as a result of a guilty conscience for doing this. As I, and as I say, uh, no one's ever come to my defense in, in that regard. I look at it this way, that my part in this thing may well have been something that later or now that the U.S. government might be looking at somewhat with a guilt complex. And the feeling could be that the less said about it by the United States government, the better. <laughs> 